Ciao and welcome to 15 with Fosca, the podcast where we talk about Italy, all things Italian, and taking the leap to make your dream of building a life for yourself in Italy or in the U.S. a reality. Sometimes it'll just be me responding to your questions or talking about topics that are of interest to Italy lovers in general, but often I will be hosting special guests who will work with me through the intricacies of Italian culture, share their stories, and discuss the challenges and triumphs that have accompanied them on their paths to Italy. Since I'm also your U.S. insider in Italy, we'll be talking about how Italians can best prepare for their academic and cultural journeys to my home country. So thank you for tuning in to Ask Fosca's 15 with Fosca. Cominciamo. Buongiorno mondo, and welcome to the first ever episode of 15 with Fosca, the podcast. I couldn't be happier to be launching my new venture, AskFosca.com. And this podcast, which is dedicated to disseminating information about things going on in Italy and with Italian culture today. I am so excited to be able to create a space where we can have conversations that help to prepare in a meaningful way those who are coming to Italy to live to study or for cultural exploration. Whether you're coming for the short or long term or even thinking about forever, I want to give you some tools to gain a more clear idea of what is being talked about in Italy today socially, politically, and culturally. I also want to ask important questions like, why are young Italians still leaving the country, just as we might be starting to see the beginnings of something like a reverse brain drain as people start to come back to Italy who have maybe spent their careers abroad. I'll have a host of guests from all walks of life, expats and locals alike that I've invited to come and speak with me about a wide range of topics that I really feel will be useful and beneficial for you, my listeners. I'm sincerely interested in hearing directly from you as well. So DM or email me with your suggestions, questions, I don't know, suggestions for future guests and podcasts. And just as an FYI, I'm a hardcore White Lotus fan, especially and obviously of season two in Taormina, Sicily. So you can count on that being the subject of at least one future podcast, but I'm hoping that that might even become a series. Um, so I wanted to take a moment to talk about the premise and the mission of Ask Fosca, and then move on to how the podcast was born. Ask Fosca's mission is, we owe it to our planet, our fellow humans, and to those who will come after us to be better citizens, which for me means being true global citizens. Spending time in another country, immersed in another culture, in a contemplated way, means engaging actively in difference, acknowledging and really hearing a multiplicity of voices, and seeing variegated worldviews. It is never just about what we learn in the classroom. It's the way we creatively and innovatively apply that theoretical knowledge to our experiences out in the world, the ones that shape, challenge, and develop us. And then we bring back home a more enlightened, tolerant, and understanding version of ourselves and become agents of universal change. So what that means for, for my consulting and in this forum in particular, is that I want to help as many people as I can find their paths and prepare them for their journeys in an informed and contemplated way. So when I was beginning to think about what means of communication I wanted to use to reach an audience of Italy lovers, Italophiles, or even those who are just Italy curious, the idea of a podcast was suggested to me. And I will admit to you that it felt very daunting. I didn't feel that I could do it, and I was actually um, quite intimidated by the thought of it. <clears throat> and I sat down and I began jotting down some ideas and some names for future guests, and it turned out that I'm surrounded by people that I think have some pretty incredible things to say. And since it's also a time of incredible movement and fermentation in general in our post-pandemic world, it feels like there's a big shift happening daily the world over. And I, I wanted to share with you how that is playing out here in Italy. And I wanted you to hear about that um, directly from Italy. So the country and Florence have always seen great influxes of foreigners. I mean, this is something that's been going on for centuries, yet something feels different right now. Uh, the pandemic has accelerated everything and people and things move at lightning speed now. And Italy currently seems to have even more appeal than ever as people from the world over seek a more balanced life. Perhaps they're looking for Italy's much desired dolce vita. And this is 
Another question that I'll likely discuss with my guests, since it's often the topic of my conversations in real life, but I'm wondering if perhaps this coveted uh, Italian lifestyle could explain this most recent boom, especially of people looking to stay for longer periods of time, often indefinitely. So the hope with this podcast is to give you an understanding of the, the beauty of Italy, as well as its underbelly. And this is a phrase you'll likely hear me repeat uh, during pretty much almost every podcast episode. And it's because I want you to understand and be prepared for your time in Italy. And since most of my guests will be telling stories, often their own stories, I thought it would be a fun first podcast episode if I told you part of my story and also a little bit about how Ask Fosca came to be. I am a very proud Italian American born and raised in the great state of New Jersey. Italy was always a part of my story, but I had only visited as a child until I returned after my first year at Bryn Mawr College for a summer in Rome. I am very thankful for the language requirement at my alma mater because I took two semesters of Italian before coming, and um, it helped me a lot during that summer in Rome and in the future. And I'm very glad that my perseverance paid off because it met five times a week really early in the morning. In any event, little did I know that those two months would change the course of my life forever. <clears throat> Every day I spent in Italy, I found myself face to face with immense, exceptional and rarefied beauty, even in the most mundane things. Italy revolutionized my worldview, it informed my aesthetic, and it really shook me to the core. When I set foot in Florence, it was love at first sight and something magical happened. I knew it was where I was meant to be. And I had traveled that summer up north to Venice and to Padova, and I had traveled south to the Naples area, to the Amalfi Coast and to Capri, but Florence was a whole different story and I knew it was where I was meant to be. And so I spent a year there, uh, here, uh, doing study abroad in Florence, and then went back to the States. I graduated, uh, did my work in Italian studies at Brown University as a graduate student. And then there was some back and forth between the US and Italy before I finally packed my bags and took the leap. I moved to Italy. I got married. I had a baby. I divorced. I dated. Um, I did online dating actually in my early 40s. And I found love again. I have bought and sold homes and I did several jobs before settling into my more than 23 years of working in study abroad for Stanford University. I live in Italy as an insider. I am raising my bilingual and bicultural daughter here and have seen her go from private daycare from when she was about 14 months old until public high school, which is where we are right now. I have a blended family. My partner, Luca, is a chef from the Veneto. His son, Zeno, starts middle school in the fall. And in addition to all of this, I have to say that um, my proudest accomplishment since I've uh, been living in Italy for the past 25 years is that I managed to get my Italian driver's license. And this was almost 30 years after the New Jersey DMV issued my first license. So that says something again about. Uh, perseverance. So I feel I'm in this privileged position of cultural fluency after years of cultivating my professional and personal life here in Italy. And now I want to share my insider information with you. And this podcast is devoted to sharing story, stories from and about Italy today so that you have more insight into the country and Italians so as to understand better and ultimately decipher the culture. It goes without saying that the more you know about a culture, the better you'll be able to figure it out. But in order to do that, you need to have an understanding of it so as to be sharp and informed cultural critics. And this is not easy at all. As we all know, everything in any culture is just very nuanced and it can also be very confusing. So with these conversations and stories, I hope to give you that little bit of cultural understanding that I know will take you very far in your journeys. And in my little way, I want to help visitors approach Italy with some background and some notions of the culture. So after this extremely long diversion, I wanted to get back to the idea of the podcast as a medium. As I mentioned, it was proposed to me as one of the ways I could communicate with those who were Italy bound or Italy curious. And 
I thought I would do that primarily through my writing, and I will be writing a blog where I'll be focusing mostly on cultural questions related to Italy and things that I think you might find interesting that are happening in the country right now. But then the idea of the podcast started to grow on me, and it became really contagious. And I thought, it would be so special if I could bring this piece of the world into people's homes, cars, and headphones. And just so you know, I'm a huge podcast fan, and you can often spot me walking the streets of Florence with my headphones on and off, and I'll be listening to podcasts, but I'll also sometimes just be rocking out. <clears throat> anyway, so I want these really interesting ideas about Italy today and these fascinating voices from Italy to be reaching you. So those are my ultimate goals for the podcast, right? To reach you, to talk about important things, but also to talk about seemingly frivolous things. And as I mentioned earlier, I would love for listeners to be involved as much as possible in the podcast with their thoughts, ideas, and questions. So DM me at Ask Fosca or contact me directly through my website, askfosca.com. Is there something you want to know about Italy? Remember, there are no stupid or silly questions. I think we'll be talking about a lot of different things along the way. And for now, it looks like the podcast will be coming out weekly and uh, the tables will be turned and I'll be asking the questions most of the time. And my guests and I will be covering a lot of really interesting cultural ground and we'll be taking some deep dives as well. And I think some of the com conversations won't necessarily be easy because as I've already mentioned, and this is sort of my mantra, I want to prepare people for the beauty, but also for the underbelly, if you will. And I think it's important to have realistic expectations when living abroad. And I think it's important and vital to approach time you spend abroad with your eyes and mind and heart wide open. So my ultimate desire with these podcasts these snippets of conversation that I'll be having with my guests is to enable you all to hear voices from Italy. And I wanted to also take a minute to talk about the other way as well, since I'm your U.S. insider in Italy, I also want to help Italians who want to go to the U.S. to spend a meaningful cultural um, and academic time. And we'll be hearing those voices as well. I wanted to underscore a couple of other things that I'll be concentrating on in this podcast. One is that I'll be inviting a plurality of voices in to speak with you so that you can hear about goings on in contemporary Italy from a really diversified set of voices. And that's one of my primary goals. And another thing that I'm really hoping to do with this podcast is to give a voice to young Italians. Something really important to me after working with generations of Stanford undergrads is being able to talk and listen to young people. I really enjoy hearing their voices and perspective on things. And I think it would be a wonderful opportunity for us to hear for, for, from some young Italians. So I'll be hosting what I hope will be a series starting in early 2024, featuring the voices of Italian high school through university students about where they see Italy right now, where they see their futures, how they see Italy in the world. And I think these are voices that need to be heard and to which we should be listening. So stay tuned for an incredibly rich landscape of podcasts and wonderful guests coming up soon here on 15 with Fosca. And thanks for joining me today. Grazie mille, arrivederci e alla prossima volta. This is As Fosca, your US insider in Italy, signing off for now. Thank you for listening and I hope you'll continue to join in on our conversations. Please also check out my website, askfosca.com, and follow me at Ask Fosca on social media for updates, news, advice, and upcoming podcasts. I would also love to hear directly from you, so DM or email me your topic suggestions for future 15 with Fosca podcasts. Grazie mille e alla prossima volta. Ciao, ciao.